What's up everybody? Today I want to talk about revenue versus profit. I want to talk about this topic because it's kind of been swishing in my head because revenue is, you know, you can say I made $2 million, we generated $5 million, we generated, we're a $100 million company. And I think about this a lot because there's a lot of number one ego, right? Your ego gets kind of connected to revenue generated. But um, I think in my head, the thing that matters most is actually what you take home, right? I mean, even at the, the lowest level, or at like, you know, being an employee, as an example, like just being just being an employee for a company, and you make money, it's your take home pay, right? After you pay taxes. But as you can make more money, what happens is things get more complicated. That's at the employee level. But when you start running businesses, and you start growing things, a lot of people have bigger dreams or bigger goals. And they start thinking about, okay, how do I build a $100 million company, a $500 million company, a billion dollar company? I think there's lots of power in that, that concept. And, and I think that what a lot of people don't realize for those that want to get into business or want to grow a company, uh, what I've seen or kind of my observations just a little bit is that the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Now, uh, I'm talking about this because uh, as I grow my business and I think about like what my goals are and what's important, uh, I, I want to make sure that I don't build a business that can that can easily collapse, right? Uh, they, they say that the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. But I, I really think that although that's true, I think there's still smarter ways to go about doing it. Uh, here's where I'm going. What's more important, revenue or profit? Here's the thing. Uh, I posed this question on Facebook and basically nobody uh, commented or like one person commented. And one of the things is, is like, if you look at a business that's producing a million dollars in revenue, right? 2% of a million dollars is $20,000, right? Let's just say you make 2%, 20,000 bucks. Um, however, if you made 10% of profit, that is the equivalent of a million dollar business doing 20% gross margin. So if you make 10%, so it goes 10, 20% of profits of a million dollars is $200,000, 10% of $200,000 is $20,000. So essentially 2% equals 20% if the gross margin is 20%, which is a little confusing, I know. And where am I going with all of this? Um, I don't know. I don't know if anyone is interested in this topic and I don't, I'm just kind of blabbering in front of my new camera here, my new lighting setup that I'm, I'm kind of goofing around with. And uh, I don't think this video may make it onto YouTube. Um, I think that my thing is, is that it's very easy to get to a point where you can just spend on ads and you can grow your business really fast. And then you can grow, you can hire employees, you're gonna, you can pay for infrastructure. And what can happen is uh, you have all these expenses, right? And then what happens is you get sort of hooked on the amount of revenue that needs to come in the door. Uh, but, on, but you're not making any money, right? And now if you're a growth company, like a lot of tech companies are, like Slack, Dropbox, those, Facebook, Google, maybe not those companies, more of the newer companies that are growing, they're on this upward ascent and they have a lot of venture capital. So they're burning through money and they're, they have investors. So that's kind of one of the things that the dangers of, 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 of looking, focusing on revenue growth, I think, is that you can, your ego can, I think that your ego and your, maybe not your ego, but a little bit of your eyes, your attention can just get focused on the wrong thing. And, um, and I'm, and I'm trying to like, like not grow too fast, right? Because once you, once you get too hooked on that revenue, it's almost like you can't live without it. You know, for example, once you get, and that's kind of like in my lifestyle, like I'm really trying my best not to, you know, I just paid off my car. I, I want to buy a Tesla, but I'm not going to. And, and, and like in, in, a, in a small micro example for just in my life, like, you know, I, I pay off my car, our expenses are low, we can live a higher lifestyle, but I don't want to because what happens is once you lift your lifestyle above ground or too high, you can't come back down, right? Or it's very hard to come back down. Um, I'd rather have money in the bank and just live a reasonable lifestyle and basically saying, this is how much money I'm making, but this is my lifestyle. Because so many, so often for lots of us, lots of people, we don't know how to have a, a financial diet. Uh, because it, look at, I mean, not even a financial diet, I think about the, just a, a diet period. You know, I'm gaining weight, I'm 200 pounds, uh, you know, I can't get this weight off, it's hard. And as we get older, it becomes so difficult to really, uh, this is why I love fitness so much, because fitness and business, so they have strong parallels. And that's the thing is that you just cannot get away from the fact that 
you end up your lifestyle ends up getting close to your your lifestyle just ends up outpacing your income sometimes or you just start to live above your means or you eat more than you uh, burn and and that's kind of how I look at revenue versus profit this is your revenue and this is your profit now like that's the thing though see when, when a business becomes like a hundred million dollars right your gross margin is ten let's say ten percent that's ten million dollars that's a lot of money right but like you know depending on your expenses depending on how things work like that if the market moves against you your gross margin can go from 10% to 5%, right? And that's kind of why companies collapse. Like a big example, that's why retail is a good example of these, right? Because retailers have very small margins. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know if I'm going to post this, but I wanted to make a video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have a, uh, make a comment, leave one. Thanks for watching.